let's check out all the changes in iOS 13.2 Beta 1. What's going on everyone? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider and we have downloaded and installed the first beta of iOS 13.2. Now there are a bunch of small changes here. There's some new, some returning features and the first iteration of Deep Fusion, Apple's computational photography feature coming to the iPhone 11 line. So let's go ahead and break it down, show you everything that is new and changed in this first beta of iOS 13.2. Starting off, if you head into the settings application and go under privacy, there's a new research option. Right now, this doesn't point to anything and it does tell you you need to install the research app before this will actually function, but then you can take part in research studies using health pulled from your phone as well as from your Apple Watch. For sure, more information is coming from Apple on that in the future. On the iPad with iPad OS, we see screen and dock settings have moved from the bottom of the display and brightness settings and now occupies its own space within the settings app. Here you can see like the iPad app spacing or the iPad OS app spacing, as well as other changes you need to do for your dock and for your home screen. If you 3D touch or haptic touch on the TV app icon, there is now a new contextual menu that'll appear and it'll let you continue off where you last were, whatever movie and TV show you may have been watching. Our old friend Rambo has noticed that proximity cards that pop up, ones for say pairing your AirPods or something, and now can have a transparent background. He says this is going to be useful if Apple ever wanted to implement these with dark mode. Whenever you're in control center and you're adjusting the volume, it'll no longer display an iPhone icon there at the top. It'll be replaced with a volume icon, which makes a little bit more sense, obviously here on your iPhone. Again, when you go into settings, if you go under general, there is a new option for AirPlay and handoff. So previously this was just listed as handoff. Now it is AirPlay and handoff. And when you go in there, you can automatically AirPlay to TVs. You'll have never ask and automatic as options there. And there's also transfer to HomePod. So this is a new handoff feature for HomePod with a forthcoming update. Right now it doesn't work in the beta, but you'll be able to take your phone, tap it on top of the HomePod and transfer audio from your phone to the HomePod, tap it again to transfer from the HomePod back to your phone. Inside of the music app, you're gonna notice when you're playing back music that the shuffle and repeat icons are slightly tweaked. Now instead of just being red, they have red backgrounds behind them. Also in music, you can view your complete music history. So you can see what you've listened to recently right above that, just scroll up and you can see that listening history there as well as what's coming up next. 9 to 5 Mac also noted that there is a new code listing inside of iOS 13.2 that points to a new set of AirPods. These new AirPods have a new glyph that looks a little bit different, looks like they seal your ear a little bit more than the current generation AirPods, and they will include noise canceling. Maybe we'll see those at Apple's rumored October event. Also coming in this beta, we have the return of announced messages with Siri. This was removed during the iOS 13. We were hoping we'd see it with 13.1 and we didn't, but it is back here in 13.2 where you'll be able to hear those messages announced through your AirPods. It's very handy, especially if you have your AirPods in, in your phone, in your pocket. Uh, you don't have an Apple Watch or something. It can be really useful. So we're glad to see that has returned with this first beta. Lastly, in the iOS 13.2 beta, probably the biggest thing that people are asking about, and that is Deep Fusion. Deep Fusion is Apple's new computational photography trick coming to the iPhone line. And there's a lot to talk about that. So we're not gonna get into everything in this video, but here are a few sample images that we noted. We compared images between our iPhone 11 Pro Max and our iPhone 11 Pro. So they both are the Pro cameras, but one of them is running the 13.2 beta and the other one is on 13.1. So we took a lot of similar photos, some with different textures in medium to low light, and we compared those. You can see some of the differences. Again, this is a very early implementation of Deep Fusion. It'll be releasing it later down the line. So there could be more improvements to come to this and we'll have a full comparison in the coming days. So what do you guys think of the latest iOS 13.2? This is still the first beta. There's a lot to come, changes to be made, but I'm interested in hearing what you guys think. Reach out to me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you find any other changes in this beta, be sure to let us know and everyone else down below in the comments. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.